Hi, Hiram here. Today I'm going to do a boil test on this Pathfinder alcohol stove that Dave Canterbury over there at Wilderness Outfitters sent me to play with. I've already done a burn test comparing it to a Trangia, a mini Trangia. You know, for the, that's for the Picayune people. But uh, this will be the second burn on this stove, or the burner rather. But the one of the things that I'm a little concerned with is the when you use their pot stand, nice pot stand, very heavy, well built, fits on the outside of the can as you just saw there. But the distance from the burner to the bottom of the pot on this is about one three eighths of an inch. You've seen on the mini Trangias or Trangias again for the Picayune. You've seen on those in the past when I've done videos that it seems like the distance between the top of the burner to the bottom of the pot has to be about one inch. And that was with a really big flame from the mini Trangia. This has a smaller, tighter flame. So I'm not sure what that'll do, what the pot sand will do on this. But then again, I was kind of surprised that this people told me they had like five or six minutes startup time. And this thing started up in like about 10, 11 seconds. So that was surprising. So maybe I'll be surprised here. Uh, I also wanted to answer a couple of comments that I got. One from Polly Walnuts. God, love that name. Uh, Polly said, Hiram, how is the seal on the Pathfinder lid? One thing I like about my Tran-G is the non-sealed extinguisher cap. I would worry that without this on the Pathfinder, it could damage the seal. Well, as far as the seal, this is full up to about here, and nothing comes out. Now, the thing was on the Trangia burners, and I should have put one out here. There's an O-ring inside the cap. That you can take this out and then use the lid as an extinguisher or you could also do the uh, simmer ring just close it off and you could shut you could put out the trangia mini trangia with this the only thing that we have on this is this lid and it's got a interesting seal on it i don't know if you'd be able to see this it's kind of a flat seal it's a little tough to get it out, although it might have been just from the first couple of times it's been used. It doesn't have a nice round O-ring that you can take out. So, I wouldn't use this to put out the flames. I doubt that this gasket on this thing is heat resistant, or it might be heat resistant. But I think if you put it on a hot flame like that, there goes your gasket. I think what might be better is... Get yourself a can, cut off can, and use that. This lid, which is a little bit too big, I think weighed, yeah, 12 grams. I'd rather carry this to put out my stove. I'll have to see if I can blow this out, but I'd rather have something like this than take the chance of uh, messing up your gasket with that. Okay, let's see. Also, moving along here. Old Geekster1 said he received his stove and in it there were a few strings of unknown material sticking out of the holes inside. There is a liner of some sort there. The strings burned off in the initial lighting and he's on to doing his sixth burn. This one was all clean. There was nothing in anywhere to stick out. But it is looking more and more like there's a liner in this. I've sent a question to Wilderness, Out, Wilderness Outfitters to ask them, but I haven't heard back yet. Okay, so let me get some water prepped here, and I'll be right back for the first boil test. Okay, I'm back. I've got two cups of water setting at about 59, 60 degrees. It's, for some reason, it's popping back and forth. So all you do with this stove is you just pull off the pot stand, open up the burner, now to get this on, all you do is you just squeeze it a little bit and fit it down into the groove. Well, actually, I probably should start it first. 
Okay, so now like I said, this is filled up to about this level. I weighed it and what I'll do is I'll weigh it and see how much alcohol was consumed in this test. Okay, that starts that. Let's see how long it takes. We'll just let this wait until the jets start up. And there they go. Well, almost. Still. I think I'm talking into it and it's screwing it up. Now this is a little bit different. Uh, the first test I had, it only had two ounces of methanol in here and it had sat around for about four hours. So it had full of vapors. From, it was pretty hot that day. Come on. The jets are just lit up, but they're not full bore. Again, this might be because the, the burner is filled a whole lot further up. Okay, I think they're lit. I'm going to count it as lit. Squeeze the pot stand. Stick it down in the grooves. Two cups of water. Oops, I don't know if you can see it now. Starting at 60 degrees. And let's see where this goes. And here we are at two minutes into the test. The temperature's up to 79 degrees. Not exactly the fastest time. Uh, I don't know if you can see. I can see it, but I don't know if you can. Uh, the flame, see how it goes in right about here? It dents in and then it flies back out. I think that might mean because this pot is up too high. I may have to try another test using some other pot holder just for a comparison but we'll see there we have 210 to 11 come on 212 in 10 minutes 14 seconds huh not the fastest but definitely not the slowest Okay, what I want to try to do now real quick, I want to weigh this, so I'm going to try blowing it out. I know people have called me a blowhard, but we'll see. Hmm. Nope. Okay, so take that off. And again, do not do it with the lid. I don't suggest that, but just put something like a, the bottom of a can that you just cut off on that. And that should smother it out. Let's see. Yep. So, I don't have any lung problems, but I couldn't get it to blow out. Maybe some young buck or something could do it, but uh, I think you're going to need something to put it out. Again, I can't stress this too much. Don't use the lid. It, you put that on it, it's red hot. I'm willing to bet it'll goof up this gasket unless they've got some really special gasket there. And once you've messed that up, then this thing won't be alcohol tight anymore. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Got to a boil in 10 minutes, 14 seconds. Um, in the beginning, the flames looked like they went in and then flared back out. And a lot of times that means that the pot is too high. What I'm going to do, just for comparison, in my next test, I'll use this ever new uh, cross piece pot stand. It happens to fit on there perfectly, like it was made for it. Now this might be a little bit too short, but just to see what's going to go on, I think I'm going to do a test with that on there. Okay, so that's that. Two cups of water. First, now this is the first burn test, or first boil test. This is only the second time this stove has been burned, so it could get better, but uh, we'll see. So I thank you for watching. I thank Polly Walnuts and, did I say that right? Yeah, Polly Walnuts and Old Geekster for their comments. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions, and as always, watch for my buddy Max.
Bye now.